Hey, this is Russ. Time for another patient update. You know, I did a patient update just a couple of days ago, but I have to say I'm sorry to patient 4M from Canada because he gave me information a couple of weeks ago and I forgot to do it. So we're going to get some information from him and uh, we're also going to do patient 2F from Kansas. All right. So I'll put links up here again so you can see uh, both of their uh, information from the original video in case you missed it. So here's what patient 4M from Canada had to say. He says, uh, good morning, Russ. Here is my four week update. Now, obviously it's six weeks now. <laughs> All right, here's my four week update. I am doing a lot better now. The first two weeks I was dealing with a lot of leg pain. I have now since started using my cane and not the walker. Everything is a lot easier to do now with very little leg pain. My bend is getting better than the first knee already and the straightening is coming along. My sleeping is still inconsistent, but getting better now. Able to sleep on my side. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you know, I, I know that it took a while to, to do that. You have to put one leg on top of the other leg or something, you know. <laughs> I use pillows. <laughs> okay. So he says, uh, swelling is good, not very much now. I am able to drive now, so I finally feel independent. I have been doing physio three times a week. They call it physio up there, okay? <laughs> we call it physical therapy. I've been doing physio three times a week, but starting this week, going down to two times per week. Going up and down stairs is a lot easier, and walking is getting better. Uh, just concentrating on heel to toe when I walk and bending in my back part of my step, okay? Uh, just wanted to give you an update so that you can put in your videos to hopefully give people confidence that it does get better with time. So that's good news for him. All right. So let's hear from patient 2F from Kansas. Uh, she says, I am now 73 years old and my knee surgery was about five weeks after Russ's surgery. So my surgery was uh, in September uh, 19th, uh, 2019. So his was uh, five week, hers was five weeks after mine. Okay. Uh, she says she had a total knee replacement. Uh, mine's with porcelain knee. So she used a porcelain implant. All right. We have had similar outcomes with tons of PT. Russ said about nine months, things felt better for him. It was the same for me. I have had a hard time with PT. When, uh, when he shared about his PT strapping him down to the table, yes, they do strap me down. <laughs> okay, let me talk real quickly about why they strap me down because I, I know this has come up from other people before. And they kind of feel bad that they had to do that. Quite frankly, um, when the physical therapist was pushing in on my knee, because the pain hurts so much, I tend to back up. Okay, and when you do that, I tend to hike up the, ch the table, right? So the only way to keep me down on the table was to strap me down. So uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's, not it's not something that I, I didn't mind, okay, quite frankly, because I know that uh, if I'm hiking away from him and he's pushing in, we're, we're, we're kind of fighting against each other, okay? We're not getting anywhere. So by strapping me down, keeping me down while he's pushing in, I can't hike up. I'm forced to take whatever he's pushing. All right. Now, some of you guys may think that that's that you know that that had hurt a lot. Well, yeah, it hurt a lot, <laughs> but but it was kind of mean to do that. No, it was actually something that we both said. This is something we have to do if we're going to get anywhere, and it did help me a lot. All right. Okay, let's get back to what she says here. Uh, she says, uh, when he shared about his PT strapping him to the table, it bothered me that he went through this. My PT always put moist, heavy hot packs on my knee and thigh for 20 minutes, then manually deep massage my muscles first and every time before the PT session. Okay, let me, let me talk a little bit about mines here too. Uh, my therapist did the same thing. He gave me a hot, isn't it, it's kind of... I guess it's kind of a hot towel, right? And we would put that on my knee for, I, I, I didn't do it for, for that long, okay? Because she's saying 20 minutes of hot hot therapy there. Uh, no, mine's was probably in there for maybe four or five minutes, something like that. And then he started pushing. Okay, that's the first routine. In fact, I think I'll tell you guys a little bit later on another video what my typical physical therapy sessions were like. Then you'll kind of get an idea of what I had to go through. Okay. All right. So get back to her. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting her so much. Um, 
So she says, uh, my PT always put moist, heavy, hot packs on my knee and thigh for 20 minutes, then manually deep massage my muscles first and every time before the PT session. Russ talked about recliner chairs, and I was told not to sleep in mine. Yeah, that, that's what they usually say. If I were to sit in mine, I was to use rolled up towels at least six to eight inches high under my ankle always. But because uh, my extension was way behind what it should have been, this was very uncomfortable for me. Yeah, it usually is. <laughs> uh, besides, I also had to walk down two flights of stairs to get to my recliner. Um, after many PT sessions, my extension got to uh, minus six degrees. I'm thinking she's saying her extension was at six degrees. I know uh, some people mention it as a negative number. I don't know why that is. I, I would I always look at negative numbers as kind of like a like a hyperextension. But anyways. She calls it minus six degrees, but I think she's talking about a six degree reflection or extension. Okay. Um, and I reasoned that that was good. Surgeon wanted me at zero. He told me that if I worked harder, once I got to zero, I would never go back. I would be permanent. Okay. Yeah. Actually, uh, I've heard that before too. I'm not sure if that reflects, uh, reverts backwards. I know my flexion reverts backwards, but I don't, I'm not sure if the extension does, but, but she's saying that the, the surgeon said it does not revert back. Okay. Um, I asked, well, isn't minus zero a negative, a number lower than zero? Okay, let's back this up. She said that she got the negative six degrees. So she's she's actually hyperextending. <laughs> so uh, he said it didn't factor the same as real math, whatever that meant. <laughs> I'm thinking she's saying that um, her knee was hyperextending. Yeah, I'm, I'm, if I'm interpreting this right, I think she's saying she's getting a negative six degrees, a true negative six degrees. Okay, well, maybe she can clarify that for us. <laughs> maybe when she sees this video, she'll send me another email and then I'll do an update for you guys. Um, he said it didn't matter, uh, it didn't factor the same as real math, whatever that meant. Okay, and bringing you up to date, two weeks ago, I got shingles on my left thigh on the top and bottom of the knee and back down halfway down the calf. Uh, yikes, so much pain, especially constant nerve burning pain. All of this on my total knee replacement knee. I have been so miserable. What next? I will update later on this outcome. Okay, let me let me talk about this too. <laughs> She's bringing up so much stuff that I've had issues with as well. Yeah, I had shingles as well. Okay, I actually had it right here on my chest. Okay, and um, when I got it, at first, I thought it was a spider bite. It wasn't big. It was just a little little thing right over here, and and then uh, uh, through throughout that day, it just kind of get kind of got a little bit more and more. And my my wife said, you know, maybe you should go to uh, uh, the emergency care and have them take a look at that. So I went in there and I said to them, I says, I think I got a spider bite, and they said, oh, okay. So the doctor uh, comes in after, I don't know, I waited almost like an hour <laughs> in that place. And there was nobody there. That's what, that got, that's what got me. There didn't seem to be anybody at that facility. Anyways, he looks at it and he, and he uh, does a little study of it and he walks away and he comes back and he says, I don't think that's a spider bite. He says, I think that's shingles. <laughs> and this happened to me, I think it was July of 2019. So... Um, now, take that back, July 2018. So it was a little bit more than a year before my knee replacement. Now, she has her shingles going on right as she's recuperating from this knee replacement, okay? I think I'd rather have the shingles before, not after this knee thing, okay? And, um, well, we, we should talk another time about shingles, okay? Yeah, maybe that's another topic. But I had it as well, but I had mine before hers, uh, before my knee replacement, she's having it after her knee replacement. So that's got to be painful. Yeah. Anyways, um, I thank both of them for the updates that they've given. And uh, hopefully this has uh, given you guys a little bit of uh, things to think about as well. Anyways, uh, take a look at their videos. Uh, I've linked it up uh, here. I'll um, just click that little, I think it's a little I for info. I'm not sure. <laughs> click that thing up there and uh, you can see their original videos. Anyways, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys next time.